To execute the waterproofing of this deck, a single layer system fully bonded to the substrate is selected. Since it will be exposed to the weathering, the bituminous membrane should be protected with a mineral surfacing. The waterproofing system is recommended either for new buildings or for roofing repair works. Once all singular points are treated and the wool substrate surface has been primed with an asphalt-based emulsion, start placing and welding the waterproofing membrane completely onto the support using a blowtorch. Heat the overlaps until the bitumen comes lightly out, thus ensuring a perfect sealing and union between them. The placing of overlaps should always be done in the direction course of the rainwater flow over the roof. The waterproofing membrane should start to be placed on the lowest part of the roof, preferably in a perpendicular direction to the line of the maximum slope of the roof until a row is finished. The length-wise overlapping will have a width of 8 cm and the growth-wise overlapping will have a minimum width of 10 cm and it should reach the joint or the ridge. The placing of the membrane pieces should be carried out in such a way that none of the crosswise joints between the pieces of each row are aligned with those of the adjacent rows. Place and bond the membrane onto the vertical reinforcement pieces that were left previously treated and in such a way that it reaches the edge of the parapet and ensuring a perfect bonding onto the reinforcing strip. Then place the surfacing strips of the joints to the vertical planes. Such strips should be made from the same bituminous membranes as the waterproofing system. The strip's length should exceed at least 20 cm in height the finished edge and they should be placed from top to bottom. The vertical surfacing strip should be fixed with a metal flashing or groove finish.